Today I'm looking at the recently released Alcatel A30 Android smartphone. The A30 is one of the few unlocked smartphones that Amazon offers as a Prime exclusive. So if you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get these phones at a discounted price. And the A30 competes directly with another Prime exclusive phone, the Blue R1 HD, which I reviewed last year. And throughout this review, I'll also compare it to that phone. And at the end, I'll let you know which one of these I recommend. On the outside, the phone looks pretty much like any modern Android smartphone. It has this black bezel on the front with the phone's voice speaker and front-facing camera embedded on the top and the front-facing speaker for other audio on the bottom. The bezel surrounds the 5-inch HD display on the front. The display is actually pretty good despite being a 720p HD display and actually has a very good color reproduction and pretty good screen viewing angles and it's actually even bright enough to use outdoors. The back cover has this textured gray and black pattern which actually makes the phone pretty easy to hold. The cover also has an 8 megapixel camera and flash embedded into it and when you pop the cover off it reveals the micro sim card slot and a micro SD card slot. The micro SD card slot can take cards as large as 32 gigabytes and this helps to expand the 16 gigabytes of built-in memory. And talking about SIM cards, the phone comes in both a GSM version for carriers like AT&T and T-Mobile, and there's a CDMA version which can currently only be used on Verizon's network in the US. In case you're looking to use this as a travel phone overseas, I'd recommend getting the GSM version as most carriers overseas are GSM carriers. I'll leave links to both versions below. The A30 has its volume rocker and power button on the right hand edge, a headphone port on top, and a micro USB charge port on the bottom edge. All these are embedded into this metallic band that runs along the edge of the device. The phone's currently running Android 7.0 and comes pre-installed with all of Google's apps like Chrome, YouTube, Gmail and Maps. All these apps perform reasonably well and since this is an Amazon phone it also comes pre-installed with a few Amazon apps. All these apps also performed surprisingly well. When it came to basic tasks like web browsing it performed okay. It opened web pages up and I was able to browse the web without any major issues. Is it a fast slick experience? Probably not. In fact, I'd say the Blue R1 HD is a bit faster and more responsive than the Alcatel A30. The A30's touchscreen just isn't very responsive and it does tend to hang at times. And when it came to playing back videos from YouTube, it performed pretty well, as you can see in this video. And the audio quality was also pretty good, as you can probably tell from this clip. I don't understand! No, you don't understand! You don't have to understand! What'd you do with the money? Hey! I thought you were gonna protect me forever. The rear-facing 8-megapixel camera also performed surprisingly well. It took pretty decent photos, and the autofocus was not too bad either. Pictures looked sharp, and the colors were well reproduced. The 720p video quality was also decent, especially considering that this is a $60 phone for Prime members. The videos were more than enough to post to sites like Facebook, Instagram, or even YouTube. So the video you're seeing right now is from the front-facing camera on the Alcatel A30. And as you can see, it's probably not the greatest front-facing camera out there. But if you're in a pinch and you need to use it for something like Skype or any other video chat, you definitely can. And a side note about the front-facing camera. As you probably noticed in the test video, the camera has this tendency to make things like blackheads, shadows, and blemishes on your face look much worse than they actually are. And I have to say, I've never seen a camera that makes you look this bad. In terms of gaming, the phone performed pretty well. It didn't drop any frames or hang at any point, even with graphics intensive games like this one. It was quite responsive and performed well overall. The phone's battery life was okay. With a mix of calls, texts, web browsing, and watching videos, the phone should last for most of the day on a single charge. If you do get the Amazon Prime exclusive version, you'll notice Amazon ads on the lock screen. I honestly don't find those ads annoying, and I really wouldn't recommend getting the version with without the ads, especially if you already have a Prime membership. And on a side note, if you're thinking of getting any one of these Prime phones, it's important to remember that the discount you get when you buy these phones actually makes your Prime membership cheaper. So it might make sense to sign up for a Prime membership and then buy the phone. If you're looking to sign up, I'll leave a link below the video. So should you get this phone and how does it compare to the Blue R1 HD? Since I've already tested the R1 
R1HD, I really can't recommend the Alcatel A30. The R1HD is just a bit faster, more responsive, and even looks a bit sleeker. In fact, it's even currently selling for a little less than the A30. So the A30 by itself is a decent phone, especially for around $60. However, it doesn't perform as well as the R1 HD. I'll leave a link to both phones below, so feel free to check them out. Hope this review was useful. If it was, please hit that like button and subscribe for more reviews, unboxings, and how-to videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.